Welcome back to the Story of Liberty. This is John Bona. You know, the year was 1882 when a man named Matthew McGuire, a machinist, first proposed Labor Day while serving as a secretary for a company. It's interesting that Oregon was the first state to make it a holiday in 1887. And by the time it became a federal holiday in 1894, 30 states officially celebrated Labor Day. It's also interesting that George Pullman, who founded the Pullman Railroad Sleeping Car Company in Chicago uh, in 1893, was very successful, but right at that time there was a nationwide recession that kicked in and orders for his new railroad sleeping cars declined. Unfortunately, like today, many people lost their jobs, some were laid off. The ones that stayed had to take a cut in wages and or the cost of living stayed the same or increased. Workers were dismayed. A young worker by the name of Eugene Debs, he led a strike against the Pullman Company and railroad workers across the nation boycotted the Pullman cars. There was rioting and the burning of railroad cars and it became a national issue when even the mail was interrupted. The president at the time, Grover Cleveland, declared the strike a federal crime. He deployed 12,000 troops to break up the strike. Men were killed in the disruption. Well, it was Congress, ultimately, that voted to approve Rush legislation, and they made Labor Day a national holiday. Cleveland signed it into law a mere six days later at the end of the strike. It was an election year, and Grover Cleveland knew that it would help his re-election if he appeased the workers, so he pushed for a national Labor Day. He chose the first Monday in September. This holiday of Labor Day, it's often regarded as a day of rest and parties. It's a big retail day too to take advantage of the large numbers of customers free to go shopping. It's become an important sale weekend for many retailers in America. Some retailers claim it's one of the largest sale days of the year, second only to the Christmas season. Labor Day has come to be celebrated by most of us here as a symbolic end to summer. Yes, it's back to school. Labor Day was considered the last day of the year when it was in fashion to wear white or seersucker. I don't see anybody wearing seersucker anymore. In sports, Labor Day marks the beginning of NFL and college football. College football, they usually play their first games of the week before Labor Day. And the NFL traditionally playing their first game the Thursday following Labor Day. Welcome to football, guys. Here we go. Story of Liberty is on Roku. Add the channel and be amazed. The Story of Liberty's goal is to restore our liberties by educating in the truth. These stories are amazing and entertaining. Add our Roku channel today at thestoryofliberty.net or in the Roku channel store. In the story of liberty, even though the evil plans of kings and rulers advancing their own agendas seem to be winning, the divine hand of God works a counter plan, a plan of liberty for the people.
at us today at thestoryofliberty.net.